here is how to update all your npm dependencies in a javascript project so i have this project of mine which is my website and it uses a lot of npm packages we're talking about react next.js typescript frame remotion tailwind and the list goes on trying to update each package manually would be time consuming and tedious so here's how I do it. First, make sure that your working tree is clean by running git status. Now let's create a new branch. That way, we don't mess up the main ones. You can do this by running git checkout p branch name. Let's call this one feature slash update all dependencies. Now we can get an overview of our packages by running npx npm check updates. This will not make any changes yet, but just give you a good overview. By the way, the first time that you run this command, you will be asked if you want to install it, so just hit y for yes. As you can see, I have multiple packages that can be updated. Now this part is important. Notice how some packages are printed in red while others in green or turquoise. This is because some had minor changes while others had major ones. The reason is that npm uses semantic versioning. This means that each package version is made out of three parts. Major, minor, and patch. Patch and minor version updates are generally not breaking. This means you can use the new packages without changing your code. On the other hand, major changes will most likely be breaking. This means you will most likely need to change your code. At this point, you should look up what exactly changed in these major versions. You can do this by checking out the npm page of the package or search if there is an upgrade guide. I found that Next.js had a few breaking changes. Meanwhile, I was not affected by frame remotion. Now let's upgrade our packages by running npx npm check updates u. As you can see in package.json, all packages have been updated to their latest versions. If you made some major updates, now is the right time to adjust your code. After making sure that everything works, you can now commit your changes. 